welcome you all for this program. Today we have with us Dr. Nikhil Agarwal, the CEO of Startup Incubation and Innovation Center, an organization mandated to encourage and facilitate startups and innovation in the country. Dr. Agarwal holds his PhD in Science, Technology and Innovation Studies from the University of Edinburgh, UK. Dr. Agarwal is a renowned expert in innovation and entrepreneurship and his vision is to create an environment that supports, encourages and facilitates innovation and entrepreneurship. Let us hear from the expert. Welcome you Dr. Agarwal for this program. Uh, we want to understand from you, how did you start this journey and what made you to land in the space of uh, incubation and innovation? Now that's a very interesting question because when I was in college mm -hmm. and I didn't knew anything about entrepreneurship, innovation and I thought that I should start something. So some of our college dorm mates, we started a company called Prakriti Communication. Okay. And the company did very well in six months time. The only challenge was I flunked one of my uh, exams and my father called me if you close the company yeah. or otherwise you are out of the college. Okay. So that was my first tirest uh, with entrepreneurship. But going forward, uh, I started teaching and working in area of entrepreneurship for many years. Um, in 2008, we raised almost $8 billion uh, as a part. I was part of the private group in oh, Pune. Okay. We raised $8 million from Helion Ventures, from Intel Capital, uh, oh. then $2 million further from Cisco okay. to set up a company. Uh, then I was the president of a large consulting firm in United Kingdom Great. for a few years. And in 2015, when I came back to India, I was recruited by Andhra Pradesh government to become the CEO for Innovation Society. We were the okay. first state to set up our own incubator innovation ecosystem and we have uh, come up with a state innovation and startup policy. Okay. And that was yes. further inspired by a lot of other states. Andhra was the first one. Mm. In 2019, I joined uh, IIT Kanpur and uh, you'll be very glad to know that today we are the largest incubator in yes. the country. Yes. So you are, you are doing a wonderful job there. Uh, we had lot of startups have been you know, incubated and you have been hand holding in uh, the startups through the journey of uh, know, uh, uh, incubation and innovation ecosystem there. That's what we understood there. Uh, also want to understand uh, how this uh, startup incubation and innovation center uh, know, uh, makes better and uh, how did uh, know, it, uh, uh, what was the objective of this uh, startup uh, incubation and innovation center of IIT Kanpur? So we started in year to around 2000. So there was some money was given by SIDB and the UP government to set up this SIAC. At that time, it was known as SIDB Innovation and Incubation Center okay. because the primary funding come from SIDB. Mm. However, over a period of time, uh, we started calling SIAC. Uh, we are indeed very thankful and indebted to SIDB for considering innovation, promotion of innovation 20 years back when nobody was talking about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, center has done quite phenomenally well. So initially idea was to commercialize the institute technologies. See, I'll tell you the real challenge in India. So we fund a lot of research mm. to the professors uh, and to the labs in various colleges across the country. However, these uh, outstanding research never see a day of light. Okay. They after few years of funding, when the funding runs out, maybe a patent is filed or something, but the uh, research died down or the product died down inside the lab and the mm. new product come, new research comes, professors get busy somewhere else. Yes. So the technology transfer problem is already there. Mm. So number of American and Western universities, if you see, there is a TTO office, technology transfer office, which is there. So initially the focus of SIAC was to promote institute research and help them in commercializing it. Mm. But going forward now, we are an inclusive incubator. Uh, because we are also a national institution so we cannot limit our incubator only for the internal people today we have now 30 35 percent of the companies which we have are by iitians including iit kanpur or other iits mm. 65 percent of our companies are from outside okay so we allow everyone who can think who can innovate who have some new idea and whom we can help uh, they can apply to us and mm. they are welcome to join uh, the journey. Okay. So the focus today of the incubator is to not only commercialize and promote uh, the technologies of IIT Kanpur, 
but also bring in the other people who need our help whom we can work together okay. in solving the pro technological problem solving the social problem we come within some of the ideas for example technology for social good okay like how the social problem public infrastructure issues can be solved through technology and innovation mm. so that way that's the reason we have become little wider in our scope today okay so uh, what have been the most uh, notable achievement of SIIC and you know uh, how did you achieve this so the uh, SIIC has been working in uh, various domains for uh, mm. few years mm. so one of the notable achievement was that there is a company called cura dev okay. which was in cancer uh, uh, drug uh, so they uh, that company was eventually acquired by roche pharmaceutical okay. for almost uh, 500 million dollars oh that's so great. that mm. was one of the i would say biggest success mm. of institute you know incubators in the country okay. that happened in year 2012 okay but recently there was a mm. uh, uh, during the covid time particularly we contributed a lot uh, for indigenization and development of uh, our own technologies yeah that's really like important. in fact the i still remember prime minister talked about the atmanirbhar bharat and yes. self reliant india yes at that time nobody was understanding this mm. that why we need to be self reliant but during the covid time we realized that nobody is going to help us out yes we have to help ourselves mm. uh just to give you couple of examples here uh in 2020 uh there was a newspaper report came that there are more than 200000 ventilators are needed okay at that time india was having less than 10000 ventilators mm. how do you fulfill that requirement we indian government wrote to several countries that please pr provide us in uh, ventilators mm. and i remember one of the newspaper report that the us gave us only 100 ventilators okay <laughs> requirement is 200000 okay. so they have their their challenges are there mm. so samsung philips or siemens they are all foreign companies and they have to first fulfill their own country, country requirement then giving it to elsewhere yes so we said we have to do something so mm. we created a task force mm. uh, and within 60 days time we created a ventilator mm. in 90 days time there was live patient on the ventilator okay. today we have sold thousands of ventilators hundreds of thousands of patients have gone through and touch wood everybody is okay yeah, everybody is recovered which is correct. very good news same way we worked on several other technologies like there is a nanotechnology um, uh, by using nanotechnology we come up with a swasa mask mm. which can block 95% of the aerosol virus uh, it is indigenous technology invented at iit kanpur by okay. inventor called sandeep patel Mm. and you will be and i am sure you must be aware that this mask become the sort of official mask for government of india <laughs> okay even great. for the entire parliamentarian mm. uh, they used to wear the mask okay uh, so that way we have come with a number of uh, uh, like in the second wave there was a requirement for oxygen concentrator uh, oxygen plant so some of our innovators work on those things and now going forward we are working on number of technologies okay some of our focus area is cyber security uh, so we have the largest cyber security cohort in the country close to 50 companies hmm. today are working on cyber security okay oh, 50 that's a great uh, hmm. threat intelligence vapt hmm. uh, hardware legacy uh, you name it and we work in most of the cyber security areas okay similarly the up government has given us a center for artificial intelligence Mm -hmm. so we have set up a center for artificial intelligence in our noida campus we have uh, now close to 53 companies which have graduated and new 25 more companies are coming in so okay. number of areas that we have interest not only in a specific area because we have now large incubator so mm -hmm. we try to take advantage mm -hmm. of our uh, iit kanpur strength our student our faculty members okay. and come up with the new areas of innovation since you bought so many uh, new product in the emerging areas and uh, current needs uh, from you as an head of an incubation want to understand what is uh, essential to have a you know, successful incubation or innovation ecosystem uh, uh, so the first is the selection of the incubate incubate okay so you need to have see a lot of people want to do a startup because everybody else is doing a startup yes but that should not be the case mm. other people want to get into startup that they want to make quick money mm. again i should warn 
those yeah. people they should not come to the startup domain okay because that brings a bad name to the people i want to do something i want to quick make quick money mm. i want to make exit this is not the correct way okay the first and foremost uh, characteristic mm. of innovator is he is a problem solver okay he identify a problem he is willing to solve that problem he is willing to devote his time mm. energy money sweat okay not only his purpose for investors and others mm. and he want to devote his significant time or a half or some part of his life in solving the problem mm. if he is able to do that he will okay. be a success entrepreneur money will follow investment will follow customer will follow everybody will follow okay but if your basic objective is to make money then a startup is not a area okay. to come in okay. so first and foremost thing is that mm. second is a uh, proper mentorship and technology support is needed so mm. incidentally institutions like us we have a uh, great labs okay. like uh, we have uh, bio lab we have uh, 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 flextronics lab we have mechanical labs we have energy labs so number of labs are there so as a young entrepreneur who is com- somebody is coming in if you want to do something in hardcore technology Hmm. he can find access to those labs yes that's very important very because important. to have an any solution to be given the infrastructure is very important yes. so the labs and the hardware for them to develop it and the support system is very important and then we uh, our professors are very enthusiastic okay right. uh, normally what we do is such kind of problem is needs to be solved we find a faculty mentor hmm. or one faculty mentor or two faculty member and engage that innovator with that person yeah that you work with them and mm. try to solve a problem mm. the f- the way is that first of all he gets a access to the knowledge and expertise of a professor he get access to the students of a professor who is doing phd's or mtechs or you know uh, research work and the third is that he will have access to the labs in solving those issues yes. so number of uh, uh, ideas which our people are working today like for example there is a very famous company now in india it's called pool Mm, okay. which has come up with incense sticks agarbatti okay, okay. from okay. the waste flowers yes yes i heard now about it. certainly that is becoming a great product but what they are more known for will be known for and what we are excited about they have come with a uh, flower based leather Le- leather okay it's called flather flather okay it's completely sustainable huh? completely made from flower waste okay like waste flower which were mm. thrown away into the ganges yes. they collected the flower and they used this making the leather and it is non no animal is harmed in this recently they have done a tie up with uh, tommy hill figger okay and That's they will great. be making wallets mm. out of this leather in kanpur okay. so kanpur is known for his animal leather yeah. but now i am sure in the future because uh, of our association of the pool and iit kanpur kanpur will be known for leather okay so same way there is a flower based styrofoam okay styrofoam is again one of the most bio undegradable product uh, mm. it take 1000 years that has been told uh, yes. for a thermocol to decompose yes but now the flower based thermocol which is there it can be decomposed in quite quickly yeah so those kind of technologies that we are working on um, one of the uh, work we did from engineering perspective we implemented a cng filling station in khidkia ghat okay. uh, in banaras okay. okay so there are only four companies in the world which can do this kind of stable jetties mm-hmm. uh, which can take a load or uh, even the high tide low tide if floods the jetty does not want to remain stable okay and cng requires a continuous pipeline where the gas should come into mm-hmm. the pump station and boats can get the filling done okay. so it has to be stable it cannot be like moving there is no storage of cng happening in the jetty Mm. and it is uh, uh, highly unstable environment in terms of accidents and all so jetty has to be com- uh, uh, stable so that kind of engineering has been done by our company called aquafront infrastructure okay and in fact the honorable prime minister spoke about that company twice in two different forums okay so that great. kind of like unsolvable problems mm. we are trying mm. to solve yeah so i want uh, your suggestion and view on how uh, the tier 2 tier 3 uh, students or startups which is been located and who can be the right set of mentors to them can you guide so on particularly that particularly for the up government what we have done at iap and we have committed there that we are mentoring all the 13 recs okay. so recs is uh, rajki engineering colleges in, in fact one of the oldest institution in the country is hbtu 
Okay. Uh, we are mentoring HB to you in starting the incubation activity. Uh, outside the state, we are working with the uh, uh, MIT in Gwalior, uh, one engineering college in Videsha, whoever approaches, us, okay. whoever approach us, number of private colleges also. Mm. Uh, recently, there is a institution in Ghazabad, IMT Ghazabad, they ask us to help them in starting the incubator. Okay. So, what we have done over a period of time, our policies and structures have stabilized. Okay. Uh, for example, HR policy, how do you mm. hire people? Uh, for example, the faculty entrepreneurship policy, mm. how the IIT has implemented student entrepreneurship policy. Mm. Uh, recently, we are rolling also rolling out the staff entrepreneurship policy. Okay. Even the staff can start their own companies. Mm. So, number of institutions wants to learn about that how IIT Kanpur has implemented these policies. So, we provide help to them. Mm. Second, the lab infrastructure, there is a specific request come in uh, to use our lab infrastructure or there is user. So, we have a something called a co-incubation agreement. Okay. So, let us say there is an outstanding company which is with any of the college in Delhi or Punjab or anywhere and they want to access our infrastructure. We evaluate that company. If we feel that the company is interesting and we can really work with that company, we co-incubate with them. Okay. So, there is a co-incubation agreement also exists with number of institutions that provide an access to the lab infrastructure and port technology. Okay. The third thing we can also do is like if there is a specific request coming in for the uh, problem of national importance, okay. uh, something is being solved like in medical field or in defense field and they approach us, they write a letter to us or to director IIT Kanpur that this is what is being there and we evaluate that okay, this particular problem is a national importance which is needed to be which need our support. So, without our own vested interest, we support them. So, okay. idea of the incubator is to promote innovation ecosystem across not only the state of Uttar Pradesh, but across India. We are a national institution. Yes. We, uh, we like that these problems to be solved and rather than importing the innovation from outside, hmm. we should start developing our own innovative products yes. and we can export uh, them to the countries which were earlier we are importing this. Yes. So, that is the like I would say the gist of and our motivation. Yeah, that is that is very good sir. like an mm -hmm. uh, institute of national importance and having an incubation center uh, within the campus uh, supporting the students within the state and uh, beyond the state. If you say like a student if, who is there in say like um, Tamil Nadu, he wants to uh, have an incubation or a startup to be incubated at your center. How do you handle them? and uh, no to be a successful startup so uh, so companies can come anywhere so okay. the only so since we are also custodian of government funds uh, we cannot incubate companies which are uh, incorporated outside of the country okay. we can incubate any company incorporated in india okay. there has to be at least one founder should be a majority founder should be indian okay that is must uh, so there is various ways of working like we encourage companies to come to uh, the campus and we provide them accommodation. It is extremely uh, subsidized cost. Okay. Uh, we provide them office mm. and you will be very glad to know the rights of the incubator, incubating is similar mm. to the rights of professor of IIT Kanpur. Oh, that's great. So, for okay. example, if let us say if I am a professor of electrical engineering, I have to access the computer science lab. So, the way I access the lab same way the incubator or incub incubating can also access that lab. So, that is fantastic. So, that is advantage. Mm. So, the company which is like say in Tamil Nadu wants to incubate with us, mm. most likely they are looking for a tech support or kind of mentorship support. So, we say you come over here, mm. you spend some time. If you cannot come here com uh, permanently, keep on visiting us, maybe 10, 15 days, 20 days we will provide you access. Mm. Once you are, a, once your technology is stabilized and you come to certain level, Okay. You can virtually incubate with us. Mm -hmm. We can keep on providing you investment support, mentorship support. The another advantage of IIT Kanpur is that now we have a campus in Noida. Okay. Uh, so, the companies which does not need active lab support, mm -hmm. we ask them to shift to Noida so that they can have a business connect oh, okay. through our Noida campus. Okay, okay. That's uh, good. So, Center for Artificial Intelligence is also set up in Noida. Mm -hmm. So, there are companies which are co-located there. Okay. Uh, uh, at least for the UP based company which are incorporated. Hmm. So, center for AI they can access anytime. Okay. So, now India has emerged as the third largest uh, you know, ecosystem in startup uh, globally. 
So, uh, what do you think it has been contributed to this phenomenal growth of uh, our country? I think Indians are always known for their own innovation and curiosity. Okay. Unfortunately, we were doing all in Silicon Valley. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like some of the smartest people who migrated hmm. uh, to Silicon Valley and now they are running the large companies like okay. Microsoft or Google, okay. we all know about it. Uh, but now the opportunity are so much in India, there are relatively less number of people going abroad. Okay. Oh, that's great. If you look at the whole NCR region, North India, Southern India, Western India, the quality of life has improved. Hmm. The access to medical facility and other things have improved. So yes. people, so educated class are not going out. Hmm. They want to do something for their own country. So they, the feeling of patriotism is there. Yes. And the feeling much. of doing something here is there. Correct. And third is the economy factor. Hmm. See, the uh, outside countries are going growing only half a percent or one percent per year. Okay. India is, is growing seven percent a year. Hmm. Hmm. So the growth factor what you have today here uh, is unmatchable. Yeah. So, for uh, for this kind of uh, eco in, uh, innovation ecosystem created in the country, uh, so uh, when there are some traditional, um, say like you know, uh, funding or ecosystem uh, in our country like uh, uh, Atal Incubation Center, uh, DST Technology Business Incubation Center, MSME uh, Incubation Center. Beyond that, uh, uh, do you have any uh, source of funding for the startups? which would uh, help them in you know, uh, making their startup more successful? A very important question, particularly for the startups, because mm. number of startup and also incubators uh, does not know about what is the funding opportunity which is coming in exclusively from the government. And mm. I will also talk about the private funding opportunities. So from the government ecosystem, if you look at, most of the ministries are now having their own startup initiative. Yes. Like Minister of Urban Affairs has an initiative called Waste to Wealth, okay. Garbage Free Cities, Waste to Wow. So they are putting, they are supporting around, last year they have supported around 25 companies. This year they will be supporting around 45 companies okay. uh, who are willing to do waste aggregation, solid waste management, uh, creating new kind of products from the waste. Mm. Uh, and they are connecting these companies with urban local bodies across the country. Okay. Similarly, uh, if you look at the disability, if you are uh, if you are a startup working in assistive technology okay. for the blind, for the deaf, for the disabled people, you can speak with the Ministry of Disability Affairs, okay. and they can uh, the Vyang Affairs, so they can uh, they can help you in doing something. If you are an SCST uh, startup, uh, then there is a separate fund, Ambedkar scheme, which is there. Okay. exclusively meant uh, for uh, people from SCST class to uh, get funding from them. Mm. If you are a woman entrepreneur, there is a separate scheme uh, mm. for this. Okay. Uh, then they, the what the government has started doing, they have come with their own challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, like Ministry of Textile will come with a textile innovation challenge. For okay. Example. Okay. Ministry of Fishery will come with a marine life challenge. Okay. So those challenges are also there. So. Uh, the, then the principal scientific advisor office, mm. uh, they have started working with number of CSR and um, uh, corporate across the country. And if the CSR wants to donate the money, wants to run a context or a hackathon, mm. they normally approach the PSA office, PSA office then circulate it across the country. Okay. So, so there is enough opportunity today. Mm. Uh, if you are a good quality startup, uh, most likely you will receive receive some kind of funding, initial funding from the government. Okay. So you don't need to be from the business class anymore okay. to start okay. your business. Yes. So that's the good news. So, so you, you have asked a question earlier yeah. that how the India has become the third largest okay. startup ecosystem. This is one of the reasons. Yes. In fact, I am thankful to the government in providing so many opportunities today yeah. to the people. If your intentions are right, if you have control of your technology and if you are uh, capable, chances are that you will raise some startup seed fund, mm. whoever you are, wherever mm. you are, it does yes. not matter. You can yes. be in Gorakhpur or you can be in Noida, that does not matter. Mm. You can raise funds from the government ecosystem. Number of private plates are also doing, mm. uh, like uh, SDFC Bank, uh, Citibank, IOC, EIL, ONGC, mm. uh, they are also coming up with their own startup challenges and money, either in the domain they work in, or a generic domain. Yes. So there is 
my suggestion to most of the innovators who are listening to this talk today if you work closely with any incubator nearer to your uh, uh, city where you live in they will receive this information and then you can make an application to receive the funding coming to your personal question to you you are also the best uh, selling author please tell us about your book the startup master plan that master plan will help <laughs> many participants to become an you know successful entrepreneur or a, like you know master in their own uh, startup or business what they are doing into it so in fact that master plan was written the the plan was there in my head but it was not mm. written because didn't get time mm. so uh, during the covid lockdown mm. we had some time so i have collaborated with my own son okay. who was uh, in 12th but he yeah. is an entrepreneur mindset okay so uh, we start discussing with there was some time uh, in the evening in the morning during the day time we were all like try to solve the national problems mm. uh, and uh, we uh, we wrote this book it was published by business express press uh, is a new york based publisher okay. and incidentally that book has become number one in small business release in amazon okay uh, so what we talked about is that how to build your business from scratch so it's it's sort of a guide and a bible for those who wants to f- start their own business okay. so what are the pitfalls you can get into avoid mm. those pitfalls what the tr- uh, we provide uh, uh, tricks of the trade Mm. uh you know so just to give you a couple of uh insights mm. like what the startups do so startup they they some many of the start does not get any guidance so what they do is they spend too much of time in building up their website mm. they will spend serious time in uh, changing their logos you know sometime i have seen like people are spending four to six months time in deciding the names and logos okay okay but what we say is get into the business first yes you know the even the names like haldiram also sells in india mm. and sometime uh, you name does not matter mm. once the people start accepting you yes That's like yesterday important. i went to one place and there was a kuremal kulfi wala okay. that's also selling like mm. who will think that you will have a kulfi from kuda mm. <laughs> kuremal yes. you know jokes apart but mm. those names also sell companies should work on the customer acquisition Mm. should work on the legal side of it mm. compliance has become extremely important activity mm. from where to raise funds mm. how to get mentorship how to get connected to the other people in the ecosystem mm. that's more important so the book talks about the master plan that how you can launch your business in shortest period of time okay and your chances of becoming successful mm. becomes higher like you want an uh, advice for you for this young entrepreneurs and startup um, i want uh, your personal advice as an uh, incubation head uh, for an successful entrepreneur see success will come if you are persistent okay you need to have patience mm. and a persistence to become an entrepreneur mm. like i remember i'll give you a similar example when pv sandhu won the medal mm. incidentally i was in hyderabad that time okay i was working for the government there uh and she she uh, she gave an interview in the newspapers she said uh somebody asked that how you become overnight success okay you won the medal and you become suddenly become celebrity hmm it's about 12 years i woke up at 3:30 am in the morning okay uh-huh. and 4 o'clock 4:30 i used to be at the court hmm. i used to train for 8 hours for 12 years oh, okay 365 days no saturday no sunday hmm then i become overnight success <laughs> so if you have persistence if you have patience and you have a ability not to give up okay you will become successful you look at any top entrepreneurs today mm. whether dipender goel whether ritesh agrawal whether is uh, bansal whether is vishesheka sharma they on if you start reading about their journey 10 years back they all new companies like 10 12 years back yes they have gone to the nadir Mm. they all came come rise like a phoenix, uh, phoenix yes everybody has faced problems yeah. they have gone through the serious uh, challenges funding mm. problem customer problem regulatory mm. issues mm. or technology issues sometime it looks like that the company will be shut down and they have to go for a job yes but they again came back and now they are successful company so pick up any example of successful startup there is a hard work mm. there is a dedication there is a patience Mm. and the ability mm. to continuously move on yes. the positive mindset that is there mm. 
and as everything will follow yes. people say investment hmm. and out of box it, this all will follow yes ki date rehna hai khade hmm. rehna hai hmm. yes. we have to stand we have to face yes so startup is also uh, like fighting uh, your own enemy which is in there inside you is like i will not be uh, fearful i will succeed i have taken this challenge of solving this problem i will solve this problem whatever it takes yes and once you do that then the whole world appraises you whole world will follow you and you will become successful yes i'm sure with your uh, dynamic leadership we may be or uh, we will get many more products to the country for benefit of the society and also uh, thanks for uh, hand holding many startups and also you said like you have been extending the support not alone at uh, within iit kanpur beyond that uh, within up uh, beyond up to all the states thank you dr nikhil agarwal for sparing your quality time and briefing about how the startup incubation and innovation center of iit kanpur is mentoring and helping the student innovators of our country and also briefing about the various funding opportunities available in the country for the students and innovators currently india is in 40th position in global innovation index in 2015 india was at 81st position this growth is consolidated effort of the researchers and innovators across the country when the national anthem of our country is played at any place we get goosebump and excited that excitement should not stop there we all should contribute for the benefit of the country every individual contribution will make our country to stand in the better position in coming years thank you